Welcome. My name is Sisi Deng, and today I will be sharing our work done at AWS AI Labs, where we harness unrecognizable faces for improving face recognition accuracy. The common implementation of face recognition systems as a cascade of a detection stage and a recognition stage can cause problems beyond failures of the detector. When the detector succeeds, it can detect faces that cannot be recognized no matter how capable the recognition system is. Therefore, we argue that the latent variable of face identity recognizability should be factored into the design and implementation of face recognition systems. To further reveal the issue, we make a few observations through experiments. We first notice the manually decreasing face identity recognizability by introducing artificial image perturbation can lead to performance failure of face recognition systems. In fact, as faces become increasingly unrecognizable, their embedding migrate to join a common cluster, which we call the unrecognizable ID centroid or the UI centroid. Here, we visualize the phenomenon in the embedding space with a TISNI illustration, where we indicate the UI centroid with an orange square. Notice that this UI centroid is also distinct from the average embedding of the recognizable faces marked with a black pentagon. As faces with low recognizability can be gathered into one group by distance-based clustering, we might as well just estimate the centroid of this cluster with the normalized average embedding of the UI examples. Then we can introduce an embedding recognizability score, or ERS, based on the feature distance of a face from the UI centroid. To this end, we can utilize the ERS to face recognition pipelines as a way to factor recognizability into the end-to-end -end inference. From 1v1 face verification to 1vn face search, and from single image-based to template-based use cases, it is easy to integrate the ERS accordingly with the formulation we provide for each setting. Our approach is lightweight and can also be applied to an arbitrary face recognition system off the shelf. Here are some qualitative examples to showcase the positive correlation between the ERS and face recognizability. We compare the proposed ERS with other face recognizability or face quality measures. Applied on top of the same baseline model for single image based face verification, our method significantly improves the baseline and achieves the least error rates comparing to existing methods. We also compare ERS based face aggregation with other state of the art methods for template based face verification. Again, our method achieves better or comparable results. From extensive benchmarking tests across models trained with different dataset, different loss function, or different architectures, we validated that our method is widely applicable and effective in recent and popular face recognition systems. We also conducted many ablation studies around the clustering phenomenon and explored our method beyond face recognition tasks. More results can be found in our paper and supplemental materials. Thank you for watching.